maybe it's time for some more bars. So today, I got the Monk Pack Keto Bars. That's right, Keto Bars from Monk Pack. So right here, I've got the peanut butter and dark chocolate. And then over here, we've got the sea salt and dark chocolate. So it's time to get into these bars and let you know what I think about them. Let's go. Hey guys, what's good? Joe here with Let's Go Low Carb, and today I'm gonna be checking out these bars. That's right, I got some Monk Pack bars here. I've never heard of them before, but apparently uh, they've got some regular bars, and now they've got these keto bars. So this is the keto nut and seed. It's peanut butter and dark chocolate. And then over here, you've got your um, sea salt and dark chocolate. Now, I'll tell you this, man. When I started to try to eat healthy before I found out I was diabetic, I was looking at the kind of bars, but a lot of those, even though they're they're healthier than a lot of other ones, a lot of those bars have a lot of sugar in them that as a diabetic, I can't eat. So I was really looking forward to getting something like this that's healthy, that has nuts in it, that's also good for you and has some other things in it that can actually be good and safe for me because I'm diabetic or if you're keto, safe for you. So let me just read you the ingredients in the peanut butter one. So you've got peanuts, allulose, which again is one of my favorite uh, sweeteners, uh, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, soluble uh, tapioca fiber, peanut butter, palm kernel oil, rice flour, coconut oil, alkalized cocoa powder, sea salt, unsweetened chocolate, natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, mixed tocopherols, hopefully I said that right, uh, vitamin E for freshness, and monk fruit extract responsibly sourced. So. Um, then over here on the sea salt and dark chocolate, it's gonna be a lot of the same stuff, but probably without the peanut butter. Okay, so I'm gonna dive into these and I'm gonna let you know what I think. Uh, so let's open this up. It's just like any other kind of like granola bar box or anything like that. So you open these up. They're not huge bars. Uh, they're, they're decent, they're good little snacks, uh, it looks like. And in each box you get, it looks like um, five, four, four bars. So you get four bars in each box. Man, it could have made that box a little bit smaller. You could fit like eight of them in there. Okay, then over here, I've got the sea salt and dark chocolate. So I'm gonna open this one up. And these are almost kid-proof, man. These things are like, all right. So this is, they've got a few different things in them. Uh, but let me go ahead, I'm gonna dive into the peanut butter one first. Okay, so we'll check this one out. And I'll let you know what I think. Um, again, I like to try stuff that hopefully doesn't taste like it's sugar-free, that it's diabetic, that's got some aftertaste. And with this having allulose in it, I don't think it's going to, but you never know because it also has monk fruit. So let me take a bite of this and I'll let you know what I think. It does kind of melt a little bit on your fingers pretty quickly uh, because of the chocolate that's on there. Man, that is really good. Um, a lot of things I eat that are keto or diabetic that have um, peanut butter in them suck. They just suck. These don't suck. These are really good. Um, I could eat this whole thing, no problem. Really, really good. Um, if you're looking for something that's, look, man, I'm just telling you, these are great. Um, one thing I'll tell you is, I'm gonna look over the nutrition facts on here for you. It's 150 calories per bar. Um, it's got 15 carbs. It's got uh, four dietary fibers and eight allulose. So that's 12 uh, that you're taking out of the total carbs. So you got like three net carbs on here. Okay, so that's really good for a bar like this with chocolate and nuts and things like that. And then also on the back here, they have a little thing that says, what is allulose? So I'm gonna read that to you, what they put on here. Allulose is a sweetener found naturally in small amounts in maple syrup, figs, and raisins. Our source is produced from non-bioengineered -bio corn. Allulose has virtually no impact on blood sugar and insulin. And I will tell you, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, Allulose for me has been really good. It actually helps lower my blood sugar sometimes uh, when I eat things that have allulose in it. Um, you do have to be a little careful though when you eat too much allulose because it can, for some people, cause some uh, GI issues. Um, so just gotta be careful with that. So that was the peanut butter one and that was really good. So I'm gonna go over here 
and I'm gonna try the dark chocolate and sea salt. I love dark chocolate, so that's the good thing about both of these is they both have the dark chocolate on them, but it's not a bitter dark chocolate, which is really good because sometimes uh, you get dark chocolate and I like the bitterness, but this isn't bitter. It's actually really, really flavorful and it kind of adds to it because it's not all dark chocolate. Uh, but the flavor is really good. And then you got like the, the pumpkin seeds and I'm gonna put this up to the camera a little bit closer so hopefully you can see this um, if it focuses in on that. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that stuff, man. Isn't that crazy? All right, so I'm gonna bite into this and I'm gonna let you know what I think about the dark chocolate and the sea salt one, man. These are really good. That's good. Listen, you don't have to be diabetic or keto to eat these. You could be just somebody who's looking to cut down on the calories, eat a good uh, keto bar, um, a bar that's, um, maybe you're not even looking for keto. Maybe you're just wanting a bar that's healthy. And these are healthier than the ones that have all the sugar in them. So if you go, if you went from a bar that had a lot of sugar and then you went to one that had less, you can go to these that have no added sugar. So these are gonna be even better for you than some of the other bars that are out there that you may be eating. So look, out of these two, I gotta be honest with you, I thought I was gonna like the dark chocolate and the sea salt better, but I actually like the peanut butter and the dark chocolate better. So that's just my opinion. I would tell you definitely try these out and see what you think about them, but you can pick them up at Walmart. I just found them at Walmart. I was walking through, kind of just looking around and I saw these there and I thought, why not try them? And I'm glad I did. So, hey, look, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sharing your time with me. Again, I'm gonna ask you if you like this video to please hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button, smash it a couple times, well, just smash it once, and then share this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time with some more Low Carb Lowdown.